everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, Genie Plus finally has some minor updates, and there's new food at Animal Kingdom Lodge, as well as Disney After Dark at Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland's coming out with some cool After Dark parties. There's some things they do there that I think I'd like to have at Walt Disney World. But let's start with Genie Plus. Now, (laughs) you know, this sort of shows me everyone's getting excited about this, and it's such a minor, basic thing that was already part of FastPass Plus. So why does it take so long? Why did it take so long for them to roll out a minor improvement that should have been there in the first place? And what are we talking about? What can you finally do now in Genie Plus? Oh, now you could finally modify your Lightning Lane selections <laughs> so from Genie Plus silly. without having to cancel and rebook. Yeah, so... If you've used it or if you have not, the way it was, was, you know, you make your initial selections for Lightning Lane. And then if you want to change it, you had to like cancel. It was like this for the parks, I think, too, at first. You have to cancel it and you don't even know if you can get another one. It's <laughs> it was, a very stressful couple of minutes, I, I have don't to know. say. How can you possibly roll something out without this basic stuff and people should not be like, cheering as if it's such a great new innovative enhancement it's not it should have been there in the first place it's hard to believe it took this long it's bob Iger doing the bare minimum but everyone's like woohoo oh yeah i don't even know if this was (laughs) if this was probably in the works before him because it's obviously the first who's getting all the credit on social media oh is he it's the first thing you're going to complain about it when you use this thing and like i said it was there for all the past iterations of fast pass you you didn't have to cancel you could go and mod it was modified so here's how you do it now if you want to make this change you go into your selection that you've made so you have to make selections first this is only if you want to change it for some reason change the time or the selection so you go in there is little those little three dots in the corner, click on those on the lightning lane you want to change. And then you can do that from the tip board or the My Day tab in Disney Genie. And then select Modify Plan. Hey! <laughs> and then after <laughs> Modify Plan, they will show you what's available in the same park that you had your original one at. So you can change the time or you can pick a different thing. If, yeah. Only from what's available, right? So anyway, but, which is fair. That's the way it should be. But I mean, honestly, like if you had a dining reservation or something the day that conflicted, you just weren't able to do anything, but you just kind of had to choose. It was it was a little bit problematic. But yeah, now finally so, we've made some minor upgrades. Yeah, I call it a minor upgrade. They probably call it some great new enhancement, but it's really fixing a bug. Should have been there in the first place. Well, it's a great upgrade to a problem that shouldn't have been there in the first yeah, place. they created a problem and fixed it, and then they're marketing it as a yeah. great new innovative yeah. feature. They were the problem, and they were the solution. Yeah. So they fixed their own problem. Congratulations, Disney! Yeah, so we're happy about that, but come on, let's get real. Now, I'm going to do a poll this week because I really want to know what the rest of you out there like. Would you prefer the old 60-day Fast Pass, but a paid version, because that's what it would be? Well, I want it free. Or so. would you? Do you prefer Lightning Lane Who prefers through Genie Lightning? Plus? Who prefers Lightning Lane? We're gonna find out. We're gonna run a little poll this week. Because, like I've I said did run before, a poll last week in the show just to finish off asking who you think should be the new CEO, and Tom Staggs won. He's good. <laughs> yeah, Tom Staggs won. So he would have to come back to the Walt Disney Company, but it's not impossible. I did read they would have to buy his company to do it, but then he'd be back in the fold because he started a new company. But mm, anyway. Disney's rich enough to do that. Yes, they could very well do that. So, yeah, But all I'm saying is that Genie Plus, in theory, it's better because in theory you get on all these great rides, but realistically, FastPass guarantees more than Genie Plus realistically gets yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to, to see what people think. Do you prefer Genie Plus the way it is now, or would you prefer the original FastPass Plus, and it, assuming it would be paid now because, you know, they're not going to go back? I think it depends how long you stay in the parks because if you stay, like, six or seven hours, maybe Genie Plus makes more sense because you are able to get on more rides and no yeah, one has you got to get up at 7 a.m. And, and every single day of your trip, so all that see, stuff. See, that's really annoying. Yeah. But with Disney Genie Plus, you can get more rides because no one's guaranteed like a good ride later in the day because it goes chronologically but 
We'll see. Who knows? What the masses think, or at least our faithful listeners. We love having you here every week, and I want to hear your opinions on this. All right. So that's what's happening with Genie Plus. We'll test it out very shortly as we're there you know, in a week or so. Anyway, next up, if you like to dine at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, there are some new things to try. Starting at the Magi Pool Bar, there are some new pool side snacks, and they have a little bit of an African twist Which to makes them. sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Shrimp Bakuli. Oh, so this is a shrimp bowl inspired by the open air markets in Zanzibar, according to Disney Imagineers. And this bakuli is chilled poached shrimp, pickled carrots, basmati rice, and a soy ginger dressing with a berber aioli. I do not think I would want that one personally, although I like all the components. I personally wouldn't want it, but I definitely think it's a nice little switch up from the traditional poolside pina coladas. Well, and that's true. It is a little bit different. So is the next one. It's a multigrain tabula. So it's a plant-based bowl. So there you go. If you're plant-based, you got something as well. And that's <laughs> what you would expect from plant-based. Salad, grains, herbs, <gasps> and vegetables. A salad? Wow. <laughs> yes. So innovative. The, ne the next one might be something you might like. Ooh. So this is a spiced pork nacho dish, and it's topped with spiced pork, eans, herbed herb crema, crema yeah. and... Kachumbari. This actually sounds decently good. I would be intrigued to try this. Yeah, the pork is pork mindaloo, and that... So that it's a spicy pork, but again... Spicy is relative. You can make spicy really, really spicy or not too spicy. And I'm assuming they'll make it, you know, for the masses. So moderate, you know, mildly spiced. So you can taste the spice, but it won't be too hot. I have a decent spice tolerance. I'm just not inventive. Like, I will just go for the most basic food. But... Yeah, so it's paprika, garlic, tomato, vinegar, and their house-made spice blend. So we'll see how Ooh. spicy that one is. If we get to try this, we don't go to Animal Kingdom that much to eat. I have to say... <laughs> That is where we did see the dreaded cockroaches. Palmetto at, bug. At Boma. <laughs> yes. Goodness, it's called a yes. palmetto. As, as Disney will try to, or Floridians, no, no, it's the palmetto bug. Well, if you Google palmetto bug, it says American cockroach. I don't care how good that last one sounded. This next one is going to be my all-time favorite. The short rib grilled cheese. Oh, so this is what you're going for. Can there. we make this at home? So this is a slow-cooked short rib with house-made spice blend terramond and red wine under tender on buttery brioche bed with gouda cheese and pickled onions yeah that does sound pretty good i want this you so usually bad. you're usually like, a purist with your grilled cheese i'm surprised you'd yeah, want but it's a meat grilled cheese, in it but it's ribs it's slow yeah, braised ribs it's beef short ribs which you do like we I make them here in the smoker like, i would at least give it a decent shot is all i'm saying yeah, and they also have a few other things at the Mara. There's a marinated sun-dried tomato and herb ricotta flatbread. So basically, you know, pizza-style thing. And that's got fresh herb ricotta, tomato cheese, four cheese blend, and arugula. And there are three new bowls at the Mara. Oh. The Chermula Spice Shrimp Bowl. They're, they're liking their shrimp bowls there, I think. I know. And that has grilled shrimp this time, pilau rice, kale slaw, cucumber tomato salad, and Chermula sour cream. I might try that one, but the next one I think I would prefer. That is the oak grilled chicken bowl. That is marinated chicken thighs, yeah, this slow one roasted like over an oak fire. And then rounding out these new additions for our plant-based friends. So there is a new South African vegetable bowl, and this has a nice valent of vegetable stew. Pilo curried vegetable stew, no less. Curry. Do you what like does curry? that mean? Curry. It's the Indian spice. You've had curry. I think you like curry. As long as it's not too strong. Curry, like spice, can be super strong. Or not so strong. Anyway, I'm continue on. What else is in there? I'm very basic. There is also pilau rice, kale slaw, and dried fruit ar, as well as an avocado tahini sauce. Ooh. Yeah, that could... The sauce could be not bad if you like Yeah, if avocados. you like those things. Mm, I don't. I, I guess I would try that one. I don't think I'd order it. I would try it if somebody else... I'm just going to stick to the grilled cheese. They need samplers of these things for us. Yeah, All right. they need a sampler platter. Yeah. Disney. And then over at Jico, the cooking place, which is a nice place to eat, there's a new appetizer. It's a sweet potato ground nut soup. And that's funny because everyone's going to say, what's a ground nut? Well, this features spiced ground nuts. So maybe Do you you'll... know what ground nuts are. <laughs> maybe I'll find out when I order this. Ground nuts are peanuts. <laughs> they call them ground nuts. Why? Because peanuts grow in the ground. So, but <laughs> I, Especially with allergies. I feel like maybe you just want to be... More, well, anyone, a little bit more common. Anyone with a nut allergy would probably 
No, anyway. But anyway, this has <laughs> spiced ground nuts, finger limes, pickled red chilies, and sorrel. This one might be all right. I would try this one. Yeah, I'd give this one a shot as well. And finally, to celebrate so, Avatar, The Way of Water. Yes, the movie that had come out, Animal Kingdom Lodge, has made a new signature cocktail. Boma Flavors of Africa. Yeah, this is at Boma that I was just talking about. Sana and Victoria Falls Lounge will feature this. Oh, so it's at every, almost everywhere. Yes, and uh, the Way of Water is a blend of African Star Rum, Bacardi Raspberry Rum, Bulls Blue Curacao. Curacao. I don't Do you know, know how to a, pronounce you any know, of these Curacao words. Curacao actually is an orange, and it's interesting because Blue Curacao is a blue. It's blue, so everybody likes it, but it's actually orange flavored. Yeah, it's an interesting. It's used in t- when you want those cool looking blue cocktails. Blue Curacao you know is one of those things. I feel like I would like this because the only reason that I don't like orange is the color. It mess. I feel like I yeah. actually like the taste if it was blue. It's sort of cool. <laughs> I anyway. don't know if that makes any sense. But it is also garnished with a lotus flower and a mint. And there's some lemonade in there too. So that sounds pretty good. A couple of rums and some lemonade and mint. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think it could work, possibly. And then that's it. So if you're going to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, there's a bunch of new things to try. Yeah, maybe we'll have to head over there. And over Disneyland, some very, very cool stuff happening. Yeah, so Disneyland is now getting Disneyland After Dark in 2023. And they have a Princess Night and a Sweetheart Night, which runs all the way from the end of January to mid-March on select dates. So let's start with the Sweethearts Night. January 31st, it kicks off. And it ends on February 16th. So a short run. Not every day, There are, what, seven of them, it looks like. So what you get here, they're calling this date nights in Disneyland Park, right? (laughs) So it runs sort of through Valentine's is basically how I'm looking at this. Yeah. So you get these, there's a special fireworks show. There's a dance at the Royal Ball hosted by Aladdin and Jasmine. And that's near uh, Small World. You can take a moonlit cruise on the Mark Twain Riverboat with a live jazz ensemble to relax you and there is also the sounds of island music from the polynesian trio at the topical hideaway and you can enjoy menu items that are available for purchase just at this event so those are usually quite good and they're all of course photo opportunities with darling disney couples and spots so that should be that's interesting so they're made they're having uh couples like lady and the tramp or the little mermaid and prince eric presumably and you can pose with them as a couple yourself on yeah. date night. And as with most Disney events like this, the Disneyland Park gives you entry starting at 6 p.m. with just this ticket. Yeah, so you get pre-admission. And then also after that is Princess Night, and that is March 7th and 9th. So only two nights for this one. And this is a all-new first ever event which has iconic characters like the disney princesses and you can receive a royal welcome at the train station with princess minnie mouse and princess daisy in their amazing Ooh, there's a stretch there <laughs> they're amazing no their princess outfits are so good oh, okay they're so cute i love them all right we'll give them that one and i wish they were available Ooh, with the trumpeters all right so you get a nice big welcome Yeah, these are quite good. And there are concerts with Moana and Merida and more accompanied by live singers. And then there's also dances on the Tomorrowland stage with Vanellope Von Sweets. And there's Tiana's Southern Hospitality and Jazz Music in New Orleans Square. And of course, also menu items available for purchase specifically at the party. And photo backdrops with films like Beauty and the Beast and The Princess Diaries. Yeah, because they... uh... I want that photo. Yeah. And for all for both of these parties, what's cool is they're giving you a free photo pass. So, you know, yeah. you get to make use of it if even if you never bought it before. As part of your ticket entry, you can take as many pictures as you want, get the free digital downloads. Disney can, World, take notes. <laughs> you can print them yourself and so on and so forth. Again, you can get in early at 6 p.m. Tickets are limited. They are limited ticket events. They are on sale now at Disneyland.com. And then closing out the show, if you are a Disney cruiser... Yes. They are heading back to some tropical destinations in 2024. We are going to post the complete list on our show notes and in our blog post. We're not going to go through it now, but there are sailings from Florida and Texas and California. And Louisiana. And Louisiana. So there you go. Check it out for full details. These are in 2024. If you want to go to a tropical beach stop as part of your Disney cruise, you may want to check it out. All right, that is the news this week from Magical Walt Disney World in Florida. Thank you for joining us. 
We will see you again next week as we get closer and closer to the big day. Have a magical day, everyone. Bye-bye.